Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about user relationship tags in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. First of all, we'll walk through on the definitions and the details about the user relationship and then we'll go into the practical. Now the syntax is user relationship the column name 1 and column name 2 the function returns no value the function only enables the indicated relationship for the duration of the calculation user relationship can only be used in function that takes a filter as an argument for example calculate calculate table closing balance month closing balance quarter closing balance year opening balance month like this all the DAX functions. User relationship cannot be used when there is a row level security is enabled on that Power BI file. User relationship uses existing relationship and the status of relationship is not important. That is whether the relationship is active or not does not affect the usage of the function. Even if the relationship is inactive, it will be used and overrides any other active relationship that might be present in the model but not mentioned in the function's arguments if multiple relationships are needed to join the table a to b in a calculation each relationship must be indicated in a different user relationship function up to 10 user relationship functions can be nested now let's go into the practical so this is the file and if you look at the modeling tab and user relationship the order state and the Kelsey calendar date is active and it has a relationship between these two as many to one and if you look at this there is an inactive relationship because it is not checked here order ship date and the Kelsey calendar date as same like many to one so I have enabled these two relationship but I have kept only one active on the table I'll close on that if you look at this table here on the right side what it shows is it's an year by year sales by order date and sales by ship date and what is the difference between this thing? this indicates that we received the order on these dates on the year 2014 this much of orders we have received whereas we have shipped the orders on 2014 only this much of amount so there is a difference between of 13k like this each and every year we have the difference between this if you look at 2015 we received 470 whereas we received 479 there is an excess of 89 this is a carry forward of the previous month like this it carry forwards because we received the order on this month maybe in the december end and we are captured under this year but whereas we shipped the orders on 2018 in the january so that's a difference between these two this is really a helpful function if you want to compare like this the order date and then shipment date and the difference between here in this example i use the value this is the tax function i used here calculate open bracket sum of order sales and into sum of order sales and the tax function is user relationship and this is a calc calendar date which is a separate calendar table comma order ship date instead of orders order date Using this formula, what does the Power BI do is it will compare, I mean, it will link between this Kelsey calendar date with the shipment date and calculate the total sales. If you look at the total value, both of them will match at the end. The only difference between is order date and then the shipment date. And this is a graph of this order date and shipment date. This is really helpful function if you compare between this order and shipment date. For your analysis purpose this is one of the good tax functions which is available in the power bi if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications share it to the friends and colleagues if you have any feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video